Well, in fact, at uh, 10 o'clock, uh, there was a news uh, meeting. Every Wednesday, there was the editor's meeting, and it was the only moment in the week when, in fact, everybody was there. And uh, Stefan sometimes worked at home, uh, but on Wednesday, everybody was there at the office at 10 o'clock. And as I was at uh, a state meeting, and I had learned that there'd been a shooting, and then I get a I sent him a text, a second text, third text, and then I phoned him, and he wasn't answering, and he never did that. And uh, then I called uh, Jean Malka, who was uh, Charlie Hebdo's uh, lawyer and uh, Bibi Lou's lawyer. I mean, there were a number of us who defund, uh, defended uh, secularism. Uh, we, in fact, were all more or less protected, and Stéphane was always uh, protected 24 hours out of 24 hours. Uh, so we're talking about Stéphane Charbonnier, right? Yes. And I'm also thinking about his father this evening and his brother, who were devastated. And when I got there, there were the cordons, and uh, we weren't allowed to get in, but uh, I learned there that he was dead. But there were some people who didn't want to tell me straight away that he was dead. They said, no, we still have to check. But there was, there was Christophe, his... Uh, Security officers. One of his security officers was killed. He didn't have time to take out his arm because they had Kalashnikovs. And uh, Christophe, when he went in, Stefan was already dead. And afterwards, I wanted to stay a bit longer because I didn't want to leave his body. The bodies were just on the ground. But of course, they had to carry out the inquiry. Yes, of course, a forensic inquiry. But, so I stayed for three or four hours outside, and then uh, afterwards I was taken to the Hotel Dieu because I was in such a situation of shock. He was, uh, he died standing. He defended secularism. He defended Voltaire's spirit. He, in fact, was really the fruit of this ideal republic that we've uh, almost forgotten. He was, he died standing up. He was executed with his uh, comrades, as he would say, not companions, comrades, and uh, we can be very uh, proud of him. He, all these uh, cartoonists uh, deserve a ceremony, just as a uh, Malraux uh, organized for Jean Moulin, because they fought for principles and for freedoms that we've forgotten to defend. So they're resistance. Yes, they are resistance. And if I were the president of the Republic, that's what I would do. I would give them this Medal of Honor, the Pantheon. Often uh, they uh, died defending the freedom of expression, secularism, and they have died so that we can stay free in this country, in France, in France in 2015.